Let's bring in Sentinel Action Fund President Jessica Anderson and former Texas Congresswoman Myra Flores. Uh, welcome to you both. Two of the big topics last night going forward was the border, abortion. I want to like take a look at, at this quote if I can. It says here, and put this up on the screen and lead me. It says, uh, do you, as a resident of this is Chicago, you can see this right here. The total number, by the way, is 11 terror attacks, total terror watch list people before Biden took office in the three or four years before that. And since he's taken office, the number is 282, Myra. I mean, it's, it's really a stunning dichotomy of numbers pre and post Biden. I'm a Border Patrol wife, and I deal with the southern border situation every single day. We don't have just a humanitarian crisis. We have a national security crisis. And my condolences to the family that lost their loved ones in this tragic accident that could have been prevented. But the Biden administration refuses to enforce the immigration laws, refuses to secure yeah. the border. And these tragic accidents will continue to happen unless the Biden administration secures the border. Yeah, and the crowds that flooding Chicago, by the way, a city council meeting. Here's Alderman Anthony Napolitano asking the crowd a question about all these illegal migrants that have come in. Watch. Do you, as a resident of the city of Chicago, believe that we should remain a sanctuary city? It's a simple question. I mean, they're fed up from coast to coast, Jessica. Wow. I mean, look at this. The American people are right, right to be livid about the situation at the border. It's a humanitarian crisis. It's one of national security, but it's also one that Biden could quickly fix. Let's remember, he has tools at his disposal to secure the border. And the House has already written, negotiated yep. and passed H.R. 2, which is a very strong and comprehensive border and security package that is sitting in the United States Senate. So Senate Democrats need to yep. join House Republicans and put this bill on the president's desk. Secure and I the wonder border. if I, I wonder if I can get 15 seconds from each of you. Abortion was a big topic last night. Is there for the Republicans? Is there a solution, Myra? 15 seconds. Absolutely. It's time that the Republican Party uh, talks about the Democrat Party stand. The Democrat Party supports abortion up to nine months with no restrictions. They have no respect for yeah. human life. I stand with women who are victims of abuse, of rape and yeah. life of the mother. But the Democrat Party is using them to push their radical Je agenda. Yeah. Jessica, 10 seconds. The Republican Party needs to embrace not just a culture of life, but the right to life. Seeing what happened in Ohio, the seventh state now yep. post Dobbs to enshrine abortion in our constitution is wrong. And it's out right. of step with our fundamental principle to support the go. American right to life. That's where Jessica, we start. Jessica, Myra, thank you both. Coming. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.